Yes, yes, welcome to another video. This is part two of the review for uh, the Chelsea game. Obviously, the part one was done yesterday, so if you've not already watched that, go watch that, then come back to this one. Otherwise, things might not make perfect sense. Now, before we get into it, guys, I want to say a massive shout out to today's sponsor. It's the guys at Manscaped Road Titles, Bree! 85% of partners prefer a man who is groomed below the waist and 96% of partners think bad grooming is a major turnoff. That's where Manscapes have come in to help us all out, including myself, lads. The Lawnmower 4.0 is a trimmer specifically designed with our crown jewels in mind. It has skin safe technology to reduce those nicks and cuts and gives you the maximum confidence while trimming below the waist. It's also IPX7 waterproof rated so you can operate in wet or dry conditions. It has a premium 7000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology and a massive 90 minute battery time which is supported by its wireless electromagnetic charging function. With the performance package 4.0 you'll get the crop reviver with witch hazel and powerful odor defense. This keeps your balls protected after a good shave. Crop preserver with its soothing aloe vera and advanced quick absorbing cream keeping your balls feeling fresh and hydrated and the weed whacker to trim ear and nose hair. The performance package 4.0 is everything you need to keep you the most groomed man in the room. Use our code EXTRA20 XTRA20 at checkout and you'll save yourself 20% off your order and receive free international shipping. Yes, yes, shout out, Manscaped. Code extra 20 for that 20% off and free shipping. Right, let's get into it, bro. Um, I mean, obviously, we covered a lot yesterday, but I want to speak about Raheem Sterling. This guy won Premier League Player of the Month last uh, last month in December. He didn't win the City one. Mahrez won that. Um, so, obviously, last last month, he had a sick month. You know what I mean? Scoring and assisting, I think, in pretty much every game every he played. Game, yeah. um, he came in today, and that first 15 minutes... He ruined Alonso. I'm actually more annoyed that my football team stopped giving Sterling the ball on that right hand side, bro, because Sterling on that in that first 15 minutes, first 20 minutes, was ruining Alonso. I thought Alonso was going to get the quickest red card in Premier League history at one point. Yeah, I thought I thought Alonso was going to get sent off. We said straight away as soon as he got he got booked after six minutes, Sterling had his number straight away, and I wanted to see more of it. I wanted him to keep dusting Alonso and keep making space on that right hand side, but it seemed to be that we kind of just switched it up a little bit. Then I think Sterling went inside a little bit more. You can see. Bernardo more on that right hand side a bit uh, but Sterling again today off the game was unreal was unreal again mm -hmm. like I mean this guy it's not even a question we say it all the time it's not even a question of whether he's back anymore that's long on that this guy is back he's yep. fully confident he looks mint there's a time when he was driving at the defence and he was just you know I mean he, the, the way he moves with the ball now he's di you can tell it's a different Sterling yeah. you know what I mean he, he looks alive and it's so good the guy was doing roulettes and that um, you know what I mean? <laughs> the guy was doing skills. Um, he's so sick. He's actually mint. And he has to play every game. He's that one of the, Right now, he has to be in the team all the time because he, he, that's how important he is for us right now. Yeah. Like you say, a goal and assist in pretty much every game or even if not every single game in December. He's got Premier League Player of the Month. He has to be starting in these games, especially when we don't have Riyad Mahrez. And they said this in, in, in the preview of the match. We said, because Mahrez is out... We need to like fill that gap, yeah. and Raheem Sterling is right there to fill that gap. He's our second top goal scorer, and uh, you know what I mean. He's showing, he's showing it. He looks mint. He looks yeah. world class. R right wing Raheem, bro. You know what I mean. I, you know what's a little bit frustrating that the fact that we've been asking for right wing Raheem <laughs> for about years. two years. You know yeah. what I mean. And as soon as he starts playing right uh, right wing Raheem, which is quite hard to say it actually, when you're saying it quite fast. Um, the guy slams, you know what I mean? And, and you know, I'm just buzzing for the guy because the guy was getting a bit of stake. He was getting a bit of hate off some City fans, you know what I mean? He was under pressure to perform. And to be fair, rightly so, he needed to perform, you know what I mean? You know, we need winners. We need winners. Yeah, he, he, was, he was far off the mark, wasn't he? He was off the mark, you know what I mean? But now, he's slamming again. He seems like he's enjoying his football. There's rumours of a new contract being signed. And I think we're slowly now getting back to peak Raheem, you know what I mean? Which is great news. Great news, guys, because you got to remember, when Raheem Sterling was in like his top form... He was in like messy numbers, bro. Like messy Ronaldo numbers, goals and, and, and assists. And people, people who don't have not seen yeah, that. Yeah, they'll stat, laugh at that. They'll laugh at it. Say, what are you on about, bro? Go and check the stats. Raheem Sterling, maybe like 2019, maybe for the calendar year, I think it was, got messy Ronaldo numbers in goals and assists. Yeah, he was third. So if we can get him back to that that level, 
we've got like one of the best players in the world in our team again. So I'm buzzing for him. He had a great game. I'm a little bit disappointed that the team didn't give him the ball as much as I would have liked after that first 15, 20 minutes because I think Alonso could have got sent off um, had we kept on flying down that side. I think he would have created even more chances. But look, I'm, I'm just loving this Raheem Sterling that I'm seeing right now. It's great to see. You'll have to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, defenders, a bit of a shock. Diaz, um, it got leaked about 20 minutes before the team got, got released that Diaz wasn't in the team and everyone thought that maybe he had COVID or something um, because obviously, you know, why is he not playing? He went for Stones and Laporte. Big move, bold move. Bro, it worked a treat, man. We, we literally played out from the back brilliantly. And we've mentioned this before against teams like Burnley. And this is a big <laughs> murk against for Chelsea. Chelsea yeah. But we actually said, when you're playing teams like Burnley, don't play Diaz. Play Stones and Laporte because we're going to have all the ball. We're going to be dominating the possession. We're going to have to play out. And it is a murk for Chelsea. But this ain't like a... This, I'm not trying to dig Chelsea baddy. I'm just saying it's a fact. You play negative football. You play defensive football. So as such, we're going to play Stones and Laporte. And if we play Stones on the port against a team, that is a big murk. Yeah, you, you're pretty much saying that you're barely going to get chances against us. We're not. We're basically, you're saying we're not actually going to have to do a lot of defending in this game because you play them too because the ball playing centre backs and then they can create chances in themselves and they smashed it. But then I say that, but in the defending side of it, they actually smashed it as well. I think you told me before it was that recording that they won 100% of the aerial duels and they've got Lukaku up there with them. Do you know what I mean? He should be there testing them. I thought he'd be... Do you know what I mean? There was, a, there was a time when Stones was on the floor and he got... I, I thought he got murdered, but he slipped. I thought, oh no, he's in for a rough ride here, but nah, yeah. they smashed it. They, 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 kept, they kept Lukaku quiet. I know he had that one chance, didn't he? But the... Um, they were sick. It was yeah. like, it, it was mint, and it was it was refreshing to see Stones back in the side. I was worried when I seen his name on the team sheet a little bit, just about his more of his fitness, not his ability, his fitness. Because yeah, yeah. we've Which not seen, yeah, we've fair. not seen Stones in the team for a very long time. Um, yeah, he's been. I think he's been injured. Um, so he's been out, and uh, I was unsure how it'd go. But um, they smashed it. He smashed it, uh, and, and the stat was, bro. Uh, I think I think you hit the nail on the head. But Man City, Man City's centre back pairing both won one hundred percent of their aerial duels against Chelsea. Laporte five aerial duels, uh, one, and John Stones four aerial duels, one. So so sick. No massive play to them, and 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 I think as well. This does this now eliminate the myth that. Oh, we need Diaz to win the headers and that because, bro, they both want all the aerial duels against Lukaku. Like, what? What is this? You know what I mean? Like, I think in games like this, I, I'm quite happy with dropping Diaz. You know what yeah. I mean? I think what people need to get rid of that. I think football's changing and and City are changing the game. Is that Diaz is, in my opinion, probably the best all round sort of centre back we have. Like, he's he's mint. He's diminished defending, but. Out of Stones, Laporte and Diaz, he's probably the worst on the ball. He's not bad on the ball, he's probably the worst on the ball. So when you're playing games like this, like when you're playing the Burnleys, like when you're playing the Chelsea's, <laughs> well, well, why were you playing Diaz for? What's the point? You know what I mean? He's, he's not that much better at defending than, than Stones and Laporte that it's going to cause a massive detrimental impact to your defence. So you might as well play your two best ball players to help the team flow and help create them chances. I think that City, the way that we're playing the game and, and changing the game now, yeah, I think it's revolutionary, bro. I, I really do. I think defensive wise at Manchester City now has never, ever, ever been better. It's never been better. From, from what I can remember, it has never, ever been better defensive wise at Manchester yeah. City right now. It you've got good. Diaz, you've got Ake who was sick, who we said was in with a shout of getting into a team. You've got, obviously, he's on top form at the moment, like for, for City. And then you've got Stones who's just come back in and absolutely done a world class performance against one, one of the strongest, like, do you know what I mean, strikers out there in Lukaku. And then you've got Laporte, who's absolutely smashing it as well. So you, you, we literally have four centre backs playing at world class performances. Do you know what I mean at a world class level? Mm. Ha, I don't know how we keep that. Do you know what I mean? I don't know how we cope with that. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Like, but they are getting obviously they're all switching up and getting game time. But that is incredible. That defensive situation right now is unreal. Yeah, nah, it's mad. Right before we get into the player ratings, I want to talk about Edison. Um, didn't have too much to do in the game. But my, my God, when he had that save to make, you know, my heart sunk. When I saw, I think it was ZH put the ball in behind for Lukaku. You all know the chance I'm talking about. Everyone's thinking, oh, he's going to score this. You know, he's, in, he's on his left foot. He's cutting them from the right-hand side. He's going to bag. It's going to be 1-0. We've been sucker punched again. But Edison, oh my days. What a, what a strong hand he got to that. Because that was pretty much their only chance, really, if you think about it. And... That that stunk of a Chelsea one nil victory. Yeah. That 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 when that chance was sort of happening, and was just, I've got to say, you know, 
we can't spend too long on Edison because he didn't really do anything. But we've got to give him the respect he deserves because that save, people talking about how good he is on the ball and that, yeah, he's mint. But he can also pull off a world class save, and that was a world class save. That was an incredible save. That 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 there, do you know what I mean that is an absolutely incredible save? Um, when I first seen it, I instantly, I think in the thing, I, I instantly was like, yeah, the score there because his positioning. I was like, what is he doing? He was so far out away from the goal that if Lukaku looked up, he probably could have chipped him. Mm. Um, I don't even look Lukaku is in the locker in it, but um, but like I say, he closed he closed down the angle straight away, so it was it was a world class save. Absolutely smashed it. His delivery again, as always, was sick. Um, and as well, it's important when because look at Kepa, the, the, tra- the transitional way that Kepa kicks the ball out, and it, 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 his delivery is trash. His delivery mm. is absolutely trash, and then they lose the ball, and it, you know what I mean, most, most times will win it back, something like that. Whereas Edison, every time he kicks the ball out, you can guarantee it's just going to it's going to a city player. Yeah, he's too calm on the ball for it not to. No, nah, what a save. What a save for Medicine. Right, let's get into these player ratings then. As always, these are decided by the extra club members. You want to get involved, you want to help support the channel, get yourself a nice badge next to your name when you leave a comment. Become an extra club member today. Link is in the description. Edison, just speaking about it, he gets a 9.5. Brilliant. I know he didn't have much to do, guys, but that save is, 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 is a game-winning save, so he has to get a high rating. Walker, 9.1. Stones, 8.7. Laporte, 9.1. And Cancelo, who I thought was a bit weird, but did get the assist for the goal, Gets an 8.6. Yeah. Uh, Rodri gets a 9.1. Another good game from Rodri. Although, the second half, he was, he was making weird passes again, like, like kind of like Cancelo was. Uh, De Bruyne, which is the extra member's man of the match, gets a 9.8, which is obviously deserved because he got the goal, the winning goal of the game. Uh, we spoke about that in our preview yesterday. Um, Bernardo with a 9.4. And is that it for the midfield? That, that is, is the midfield done, bro. Sterling, 9.6. Brilliant from him. Foden with an 8.5. And Grealish with a 7.9, which I think is a good... Re- Obviously, he had that chance, didn't he? Which he probably should have scored. It was actually a good save from Kepa, to be fair. I've seen more replays, and it was a good save. Probably should have scored, though. However, I do think the fact that he stayed on the pitch for the full 90 minutes, I think he'll get a massive like, boost off that. Because when that final whistle was blow, he, he felt it. You Did know you see how I mean? buzzing he was? Yeah, he was yeah. buzzing. And I think that that will give him... Just the team winning, guys, makes it an easier environment for Grealish to perform and get better. So, you know, I thought I thought he had an OK game. He probably should have scored. Um, but, you know, guys, it'll come. It'll come His with time him. will come. Uh, subs and uh, are on screen. Pep gets a 9.6. Referee gets a 3.6. And that concludes the two-part review. Um, so, again, if you did watch this video and you've not watched the other one, for some weird reason you're doing it back to front, go check out the, uh, the review that we did yesterday. Um... Yeah, what a win, guys. Is that Chelsea done now? I think it is Chelsea done. Let us know all your thoughts in the comment section below. Shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring the video. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe as well if you're new. And we'll see you in the next one. See you in a bit. Oh, the Blues! <laughs>